PRI has documented that the UNFPA supports coercive abortion and coercive sterilization in China. An independent PRI investigative team entered China in September of 2001. Our four-day investigation documented that the UNFPA's claim to be running a voluntary family planning program was completely and absolutely false. PRI's team was told by victims and witnesses of coercion that, contrary to claims made by the UNFPA, the UNFPA supported the Chinese one-child program, coercive abortion and coercive sterilization, fines and imprisonment, and even the destruction of homes and property for non-compliance. They interviewed three women who were to accompany a friend undergoing a non-voluntary abortion. PRI asked the women if their friend would like to keep her baby. Oh yes, they all replied, but the law forbids it. PRI also interviewed a victim who testified, quote, I was four and a half months pregnant. They wanted me to report to the hospital for an abortion, but I refused to go. I went into hiding in my mother's village. PRI's investigative team was told by family planning officials from China that there was no distinction between the UNFPA's work in Suhui County and their own work. Chinese officials even showed PRI investigators the UNFPA office desk, which was located right within the local Chinese family planning office. On October 17, 2001, video and audio taped evidence of coercion was presented to the U.S. Congress. The UNFPA's reaction to this evidence was to engage in a cover-up. They sent their own junket to China. It resulted in an eight-page so-called mission report. Needless to say, the UNFPA officials found nothing about the true state of affairs in China's population control program. They had no unsupervised contact with ordinary Chinese, and they presented no evidence to support the UNFPA's claim that only voluntary family planning exists in their model county program. PRI's investigative report, on the other hand, presents abundant first-hand evidence from over two dozen victims and witnesses of coercion, as well as from government officials. It demonstrates, beyond a reasonable doubt, that the UNFPA directly supports coercive abortion and coercive sterilization in China. As a result of PRI's investigation, the United States has not funded the UNFPA for seven years.